Last year, the American Cancer Society reported 140,000 new cases of colorectal cancer in the United States, and we're here today to bring awareness to how easy it is to get tested for this type of cancer, and I'm joined by Dr. Ward Zeno. Doctor, thanks for having us out here today. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this. It is, colorectal cancer is very preventable, and the thing is, is prevention and, and making sure you get that absolutely. diagnosis. Yes, absolutely. Uh, colon can colorectal cancer yes. is very preventable. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually one of the most preventable cancers out there. Um, we've got a lot of screening available, right. and uh, one of the most common screening methods is uh, colonoscopy. Absolutely. And during a colonoscopy, um, we can find polyps, which are precancerous lesions. Mm -hmm. And if we do find those lesions, we're actually able to remove those lesions and prevent colon cancer, colorectal cancer from happening. Who should be getting tested via colonoscopy? Right, right. So for the general population, mm -hmm. everybody should be at least start screening at the age of 50. Right. Um, unless African American, which screening starts at the age of 45. Okay. For family history, that's uh, something to be important and something to uh, note. So if somebody has a family history of colorectal cancer or a family history of colon polyps, screening should actually start at the age of 40. For those that have a family member um, who was uh, diagnosed with colorectal cancer before the age of 50, right. um, then colorectal cancer screening should actually start 10 years before their family member was diagnosed. So for example, I know right. it gets a little confusing. Yes. For example, um, if someone's mother were diagnosed with colorectal cancer at the age of 53, right. they should, that person should actually have screening starting at the age of 40. Okay. If they have a family member who was diagnosed with colorectal cancer at the age of 47, right. that person should start get, getting screening at the age of 37, so 10 years before the diagnosis is made for their family member. And the main reason we're here today doing this segment is to bring awareness. I mean, this is a, a, it's a, it's a test that the prep for the test is actually worse than the actual test, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the prep is not, uh, it's not something that people look forward to. Right. It's more of a stigma. People are uh, afraid to have a colonoscopy, I mm -hmm. guess, uh, just because of that reason, because of the prep. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of different um, uh, uh, preps that we use right. uh, for colonoscopy. Some are less quantity, some are uh, a little bit stronger, right. but most people do tolerate preps pretty well. And once you get that prep, you come in, you have the test done. If there is polyps, you remove them. If there's not, you get that clean bill of health and you can't, you can't put a price on getting a clean bill of health. No, absolutely not. It's, uh, it's very important uh, to get screening, whether it's a colonoscopy or not. Um, but colonoscopy is, is the preferred method because we can prevent colon cancer and colorectal cancer for those individuals. So it's very important to get screened. Are there any symptoms that folks need to be aware of when, they're, when, they're, when we're talking about colorectal cancer? So the problem is um, there usually are no symptoms right. for colorectal cancer, uh, which is why we stress the importance of getting screened. Right. If symptoms were to arise, usually it would be abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, uh, blood in the stool, mm -hmm. uh, weight loss, poor appetite, fevers, chills, night sweats, those sorts of things. So if those things start happening especially, yes. even if you're in between that five-year cycle, make sure you get in and get it checked. No, absolutely go in, get checked, see your local gastroenterologist, um, or at least through your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. uh, let them know about those symptoms and we would be happy to see you. And what is that one thing that you want folks that are watching us today, what is that one thing you want them to take away from our interview time here today? Well, I think it's important to talk to your family. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes our family doesn't tell us a lot of their medical history. Right. Try to talk to your parents, brothers, sisters, find out if they ever had colon polyps before right. uh, or colorectal cancer uh, because uh, the risk of having colorectal cancer is is much higher in those individuals. Um, if not, very important to get your screening starting at the age of 50, unless right. you're African American starting at 45. All right, Dr. Wardzino, thanks so much for taking some time out for yeah, us today. Absolutely. Folks, it is very detectable, and prevention is the key, and getting tested is the, the big key here when it comes to colorectal cancer. You can check it out right here, Gastroenterology Associates. Dr. Mm -hmm. Wardzino, thank you so much. Thank you.